Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the top 10 most wearable trends for 2020. First up is leather and faux leather, but done specifically in a bunch of different silhouettes, different pieces, and different colors. So I really like this trend because I think that faux leather and leather adds a beautiful touch to an outfit. It gives you some texture play that you can really incorporate into an otherwise bland outfit. And then with the new introductions that we're seeing for 2020, I think you can really have fun with your personal style and your accent colors. So I think it's really beautiful when done in blue, maybe a deep navy. Oh, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. A leather or faux leather jacket, a leather or faux leather shirt, accessories, shoes, pants, the, the list goes on. And I think this is something you'll be seeing absolutely everywhere and something you can very easily find secondhand, which I really love. Anytime I want to play with a trend, I always check secondhand first because especially as trends are becoming more and more cyclical, you can find things that are popular now that were popular 10, 15, 20 years ago. Next is lingerie inspired. And this can run the gamut from very risque all the way to very, very subtle. And I think it's a really beautiful trend when done in a way that feels right for you. So we're seeing this in the form of slip dresses. We're seeing this in the form of lace, corsets, bra tops, satin, and different materials that really do kind of make you feel like you're looking at lingerie, but when paired with a beautiful oversized blazer, or really high-waisted pants, I think it looks fantastic. Another way we're seeing this trend for 2020 is in sheer pieces. So you can, again, go as bold or as conservative as you like with this, and I think it looks really beautiful if you have a sheer sleeve peeking out under maybe a vest or even a dress, and I think that it's a really nice way to add softness to an outfit. So I'm hugely on board with this trend, and I think we're gonna see a lot of variations of this that are very wearable. So we're gonna see piping and corseting and different touches all kind of combined into the same piece in fabrics and materials and levels of sheerness that are appropriate for everyday life and make it a little bit less intimidating. This next trend is less of a trend and more of a revival of something incredibly classic, but it's also done in subtle variations that make it feel very current. So when we're looking at suiting specifically for 2020, we're seeing things done with beautiful thin pinstripes that's been very popular. And then also things in a three piece setting. So you have a jacket, a vest and pants. But what I love about this is you can take the pieces apart and wear them separately. So another one of the trends that's kind of playing off of this one is vests and wearing that over your outfit as kind of a nice textured layered piece. So if you buy a three piece suit, you can very easily dissect it and wear individual pieces to suit you and your style. So another variation that we're seeing is a pantsuit, but done with shorts or Bermuda shorts. So wearing very tailored shorts with a beautiful blouse and then a belt and maybe some great shoes, I think looks beautiful. Another thing I really love about this trend is you can very easily find suits, especially slightly oversized suits that are very popular right now, secondhand and vintage. There are so many amazing options and you can take that and then have the pants tailored into shorts. So that way you're participating in the trend, but you're not necessarily going out and buying something that's been made specifically to suit the trend. It also is a great way to kind of encourage creativity and really close the loop on waste. So we can use what's already out there and end up with a piece that's totally unique and custom to you. This next one is probably my favorite out of the entire bunch, and it's something that I'm calling new necklines. And specifically what I mean is we're seeing a lot of variations on the standard crew neck or v-neck. So instead of just having those two at our disposal, we're seeing a lot of scoop necks, a lot of sweetheart necklines, a lot of square necks, and then exaggerated collars. And I think it's really, really fun. It's a great way to play with something you already like. So you can take a basic black shirt, and instead of going for the standard crew neck, maybe opt for something with a sweetheart. And just by changing up that one little detail, you can really flatter your figure, find something that really feels perfect for you, and then have just enough of an update to your outfit. So you're not revamping your entire wardrobe, but adding a couple pieces that incorporate these new touches to make it feel very current. Similarly, we're also seeing a lot of very strong shoulder and sleeve details. So this is something that's kind of carrying over from last year, but that beautiful puff sleeve trend is still definitely happening. And it's something that I really like. It adds a nice interest to a top. And especially if you're like me and you like to wear white tops, for example, having just a change in the sleeves really makes the piece feel different. 
So you're still working with something you're familiar with, kind of like I've mentioned earlier, but you're changing it just enough so that it feels very fresh. Plus I think that puff sleeves are very feminine and it's something that doesn't have to be so over the top exaggerated callback to the 80s that we're seeing on a lot of the runways. And instead it can be a little bit more delicate and something that's just enough, just a subtle hint of a puff to add some softness to your outfit. The next trend is really a classic with a couple of variations that you can add confidently to your wardrobe and know that you can wear it for more than just one season. And that is polka dots. Polka dots are really classic. They're around all the time and it's not something that really goes out of fashion, but for 2020, we're seeing variations on polka dots that I think are really fun. So we're seeing big polka dots all the way down to really small micro polka dots. And I think that variation in the size is really great to give customization to your wardrobe. So if you're petite like I am, you may prefer a smaller polka dot. And if you're taller, you might have fun with a very big, bold polka dot. And then of course, do anything that you like within that that just feels right for you. Another thing that I really like about this particular trend is we're seeing it done in different colors. And that's what makes it feel very current for 2020. So if you have a color that you love, why not add it in a polka dot? Have fun with it that way. And you can get two for the price of one. You can participate in the trend and then also augment your personal style by really playing into an accent color that you personally love. Another thing we're seeing a lot for 2020 is extremes in hem length or short length. So we're seeing very, very, very short kind of micro hot pants all the way down to very long Bermuda shorts. And I think that it's really great to have that versatility. Not all of us want to wear very short pants. And if you're in that boat, then you can opt for a longer style. And then along those same lines, we're also seeing a lot of variation in um, skirt lengths. So we're seeing a lot of mini skirts, a lot of that kind of 80s, almost ruched high waist mini skirt style. But on the contrary, we're also seeing very long skirts, still very slim silhouettes, but often with a really high slit. So again, I think it's so great because there's a lot of versatility, a lot of variety, and definitely something to suit you. So if you like your legs, you might want to opt for something short. I tend to really like shorter things because I'm short, but if you're the opposite, then having something long with that slit as high or as low as you like, I think is beautiful. The next two trends I wanna talk about are color trends. And they're two that I'm particularly excited about because if you saw my 2020 wardrobe plan, then you know that I'm really excited to add more of two colors into my own personal wardrobe. So the first is classic blue. And that is not only a personal favorite of mine, but Pantone's color of the year. So it's something we're gonna see everywhere and I could not be happier about it because I think blue is beautiful. I think it goes with pretty much every wardrobe. Everyone to some extent, I think has a version of blue in their closet. And I think this beautiful true blue is just a great color. It never goes out of style. It looks good with everything. And I think you can wear it all year long. The other color that's gonna be everywhere for 2020 is red and specifically a really rich classic red and kind of a scarlet red. I love this because if you saw my 2020 wardrobe plan, this is another color I wanna play around with. I have a variation of this in my wardrobe in a couple pieces and that's in burgundy, but I really love the way that red can accent a wardrobe. I think it's a beautiful color that flatters most people. It's something that's really classic and it goes with a lot of other colors. So it plays well with the stuff you probably already have in your wardrobe. So I love this. And I think for me per in, uh, in particular, I'm looking to add this color to my wardrobe, maybe in a dress so I can have something that I can layer up when it gets cold and then wear on its own with a really cute shoe when it's nice and warm outside. And last but not least are a few new jean styles. So since we're seeing a lot of revival from styles of the 80s and 90s, we're seeing that in our jeans as well. And I think this is really nice because up until very recently, I feel like most of us just wore skinny jeans and then it started to branch out into straight leg jeans. And now we're seeing things like boot cut, things with a nice high rise and then a straight leg, things that are slightly more slouchy. And I think that it's just a really great way to add just one piece to your wardrobe. And there you have it. Those are the top 10 most wearable trends for 2020. They're things I'm personally excited about. They're things I think you can easily incorporate into your wardrobe and participate without feeling like you're constantly chasing trends. And when done strategically, really helps you just enhance your style and have fun with it, but not go overboard. It's been a nice happy medium for me to figure out. So I hope that this video helps point you in the right direction. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.